Shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hey child and welcome back to my channel. So, four score and seven years ago, Taraji P. Henson dropped a hair product line, it was TPH. And you know, there's a lot of reviews online, including myself. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people like myself thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it was like, hey, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, but you know, it's right down the middle. But one thing that we all can agree upon is, honey, she went real far with the fragrance, honey. Not only was it super, super strong, it was very, very much so like a, a signature scent. It was given white diamonds. It was it was given Elizabeth Orton. It was given Red Door. It was given Elizabeth Taylor. It was given the Mother's Board. It was given Grandma and then hopped on the bus, went down to Mississippi and went to play her good old numbers, honey. It was strong and very, very day. So while I could work with some of the products and really get good results with my hair, some of it was, mm, the other things was cool, but you know, I, I could make it work. But what I could not get past was the smell, which is why I did not repurchase anything. However, I have scurried on down to Walmart and picked up some new items from TPH, but this time it's not for my hair, it's for my body, yada, yada. Now when I heard that TPH had body products, I ain't gonna lie, it took me right back to the smell of the hair products, which to me, honestly, all jokes aside, it was very mature and it was a little too overbearing. I was a little nervous about buying the body products because I didn't want to get that same experience. Like if it's in my hair, I can go ahead and wash it out. If it's on my body, I got to walk around smelling like this mess and I wasn't feeling it. But y'all know I just had a baby. I've been using a lot of self-care items. I'm pretty much, you know, in my own terms, a self-care aficionado. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take one for the team. Go ahead, pick up these items. And that's what this video is about. And so if you want to see how this worked for me, you want to get you a couple laughs, you want to watch me touch myself a little bit, you know what, just keep on watching. Just spend some time with me and keep on watching. With that being said, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, child. So we're getting ready to go into my bathroom, take care of this body yada yada, and have this good old experience together. Either it's gonna be a dud or it's gonna be something I love, but either way, you're gonna get some entertainment. But the whole purpose of this video is self-care. We gotta take care of the body, we gotta take care of the skin, we gotta take care of the hair, but before we do all that, we gotta take care of the mind. So real quick, let me shout out the sponsor of today's video. I'm using them as a tool to elevate my mind, and that sponsor is Skillshare. So shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video, because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations. Donations gifts so if you're not familiar with skillshare let me go ahead and get you help it's basically just like all this big old cauldron of classes and community and just easy access to information to help you elevate your year and help you elevate your mind help you elevate your lifestyle honey we out here learning on skillshare and so the reason i got into skillshare is because y'all know i spend a lot of time at home not just because i work from home but i'm a full-time mama so when i'm not recording i'm doing the whole stay at home mom thing i get bored and i need to do something to keep my mind engaged or else i'm gonna go crazy you know i can only do so many bath scrubs you know i got to take care of myself and so that's where Skillshare comes in. And here's a brief little example. So y'all know that I'm a full-time concert creator by trade. And so they have different classes available that are tailor-made for that. And so I take this one particular class called Social Media Marketing. It's top tips for growing and going viral. And the teacher's name is Kat. And the reason I took that is because social media is ever-changing, honey. You think you got things down today and then here comes a new algorithm and then here's a new trend. It's just, it, things are constantly changing. And so to have a fresh perspective from someone who's a professional in the field to kind of give you some more tips that I can add into what I already do by trade i think i'm pretty good in my job but you can always be better so hearing cat talk about all those different things that is really beneficial to me but it is so much more than social media it's pretty much anything honey if you like someone they got some classes available for that but anything you're passionate about anything you got an interest in anything you want to expand your mind about and learn a little more tips about it and hear just from people just getting the outside perspective and adding it to your own knowledge and just being able to grow from that that's a good feeling so i encourage that for you too if you're looking to grow if you're looking to learn if you want to expand your mind, honey, and get all these good knowledge, then I encourage you to go to Skillshare. So if that is for you, I am offering this to my first 1,000 viewers. To the very first 1,000 of you that signs up to Skillshare using my link in my description box, you will get a one-month free trial. Go ahead and get you to learn. Honey, we ain't never too old to learn. Ain't never too old. Go ahead and click that link in the description box and get that free trial for only the first 1,000 of you. So make sure y'all don't just walk, but you run to that link in the description box. So shout out to Skillshare for not only helping me to learn, but to help you learn as well and for sponsoring this portion of today's video so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the shower and get this body yada yada together or at least i hope so at, at, listen 
I don't know what this is gonna be, all right? You know, there ain't no telling what's gonna happen, but we about to explore this together. Let's go. Hello there, darling. First of all, I have not filmed in my bathroom since before my pregnancy, so this feels a little weird. But we are gonna get straight down to the business. I got five items from this particular collection. I got Good Days, an energizing gel body cleanser. Can y'all even see that? Yeah, there it is. The Ish Condish is a moisturizing and shower skin conditioner. That caught me, I was like, what, what, what does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? That's why I bought it. The Watch Me Whip is a hard working whipped body cream with niacinamide. And then I got, for my last body product, I got the Double Z's, a common two-in-one bath soak and scrub. I'm gonna shoot it to you straight. I, I wasn't going to soak in this, but I will use it as a scrub. Now, it seems as if they have day and night products. Most of my products are day with the exception of this one. Um, the day ones appear to have more vibrant scents like vanilla and mandarin. Um, this night one has Ylang Ylang and Palo Santo. And then for my last product, it is also day. It's the Anytime Any place or any place anytime it's a candle it's an all-time comforting candle which is vanilla and tuberose and scent so now with that out of the way first and foremost clearly i got on the shirt because clearly this is youtube i can only show you so much and i don't want to show you nothing else but for but secondly i'm going to this with a really open mind i'm gonna give this a fair shot the only bias i have in my head is based off of my experience last time with the sense being out of control i'm wondering if these gonna be out of control but i'm gonna give you my fair honest review now the first thing i'm gonna do is get into this candle this is the any place anytime child be getting the anytime any place i didn't know this no this no this it's kind of strong and scent you you can smell it as soon as you open the box all right <laughs> that, that's kind of alarming me for the other stuff okay well it's not too too out of control but let me see what it's like once it's lit and then i don't even have my candle trimmer with me so i can't cut the wick but i'm gonna give it an honest shot and I'm gonna be kind of easy on the candle simply because to me, to judge a candle, you need to burn it a few times and see how it is as it goes down to the bottom. Um, Cause sometimes people will make a candle real fragrant at the top and then as you get into the middle and the bottom of the candle, ain't no scent to it, you're just lightning. So um, I would have to burn this whole thing to give it a fair shot. But upon initial, oh Lord, I didn't blew this thing out, just embarrassing. But upon initial impression, it is a very soft vanilla scent and it's extremely, listen to me, extremely pleasant so i'm gonna let this be like jasmine sullivan and go ahead and burn we're gonna get into the rest of it so first things first clearly is the shower gel so this is an energizing gel body cleanser from the day products it's infused with ginger and ashwagandha baby you know got my attention with that y'all know for the last couple months i've been talking about ashwagandha a lot you know so this we here i like that and then as far as the ingredients is ph friendly and listen i don't care how much y'all say it's ph friendly i ain't putting it on my woo it's vegan cruelty free sulfate free phthalate free paraben free and mineral oil free instructions is pretty basic wash your tail so let's go ahead and do that all right so i just wet my loofah and i cut the water off just so the water noise won't get on your nerves so let's get into the oh it's a runny gel and it's brown oh i ain't never seen nothing like that okay all right so as i'm using it lather is good and considering the water is not even continuing to run so that's good the pleasant smell is pleasantly a surprise because like and then maybe they just caught you know the reviews from last time telling them they did too much with the fragrance but this is nothing like the hair products this is way more tame listen to me way more tame than the hair products so i like that really really pleasant i'm loving how bubbly this is i feel like a child right now like i just want to blow some bubbles like this is really, really nice. Okay, so let's get into this next product that is actually what made me intrigued with the collection, and this is the Ish. It's a moisturizing and shower skin conditioner, which is also mandarin and ginger. I don't really know what that means, so let's get into it. It is just like you're conditioning your hair, massage into your wet skin after cleansing, and then rinse clean. Okay, so it is basically like a conditioner for your body. Okay. This it it smells just like the uh, the shower gel, but it's it's more intense. It's not annoying, but it's definitely more intense. So let's apply it to the body. So I'm supposed to put it on there. It don't say how long I'm supposed to let it sit. It just says massage into your wet skin and then rinse it off. So I guess yeah. So the consistency is like a hair conditioner. It's it's thick though, so we like that. Mm -hmm. It feels it feels really good. It feels like a whipped body lotion so right now i'm feeling like 
y'all done did something with this one. Now, I know to accurately judge it, because they talk about you, you don't need to moisturize afterwards. On one arm, I'm going to use the moisturizers. On the other one, I am not. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We two for two. That, it, that condition, yeah, it definitely got my stamp approval. That is really nice. So I'm actually going to get into the scrub first. And since I already put moisturizer on my arms, I'm going to use the scrub on my hands and see how they feel. So this is the double Z's. It's a common two in one bath soak and scrub um and again it got elang elang and palo santo it smells good though and so it says it's infused with sugar shea butter and coconut oil um if you want to use it as a uh, soap you put two scoops in your warm bath as a body scrub damp skin and massage and circular motion to exfoliate all right let's get down into it so okay it's a gritty gritty um gritty scrub but it's finely milled so i want to say if you used tree hut that's a scrub that's a little bit more abrasive because the sugar is not as fine this is actually fine and it's melting into my hands before i even like really really soak it so i like that because i feel like it's even though it's gonna scrub me it won't cut me so i do like that so yeah i'm going to do some on my hands and on my legs and see how it's doing I'll take that back. It do have a little bit of a grit to it. Um, so it's a little rough. You can definitely tell this is an exfoliator. Um, but I feel the oils and stuff on my skin. Like it's, it doesn't feel like it's tearing my skin up by far. This smells really good. I don't know why I'm picking up notes of lavender now that I wet it. This is really good, but it's not super strong either. So again, it ain't nothing like the Her products. She did it with this one. We three for three. All right, so we are back in my studio space. It took me about 10 minutes to transfer all my lights and camera and computer and stuff back into here, set it up, plug it up. And in that 10 minutes time, I can definitely say as far as the scent goes, I can definitely still smell fragrance on my skin. So I do like that. I feel like layering this with perfume would be amazing, especially if it has more of a lavender, jasmine, vanilla, something a little bit more floral, that this will pair well with those perfumes. Uh, my skin feels incredibly soft, but as far as hydration goes, nah. We've given a little bit of gray over here, so we definitely need the Watch Me Whip, and hopefully this works. This has vanilla and tuberose, um, and this has niacinamide in the bottle so yes it does still have that same vanilla scent but it's a faint vanilla it's definitely vanilla and floral not just straight up a bottle of vanilla so i do like that especially since my favorite note in everything is jasmine so if you give me some floral and vanilla in it baby you got me winning as far as the texture goes it is definitely whipped so i like that the fluffiness of it so let's go ahead and apply it and um i'm gonna put this on both arms i know i said i was gonna test out the ish condition by just leaving my skin like it was but no y'all see my elbows they great so we definitely need <laughs> some moisturizer this is me rubbing in the whipped body cream it's taking a little elbow grease to go ahead and rub the thing in. It, it definitely uh, takes a while to massage in. So let me work that into my skin because, honey, I don't want to be on here white. But it smells good, though. Okay, it, it's starting to, start to seem a flesh. We ain't giving powder. We ain't giving, um, you know, I was going to say a, a real poppy little pop star, but I don't want y'all to get mad. I think I have enough to give y'all my final thoughts on everything good days the gel body cleanser i absolutely love this um it doesn't take a lot it smells good the lather feels great um in combination with the smell this feels like a spa in your shower double z sugar scrub i don't know if i would use this as a bath soap um i, I say that for some little epsom salts or something but as far as a scrub goes, this definitely gets the job done. It does have a nice sugar in it. Um, it definitely, it doesn't feel too abrasive when you're using it, but you can definitely tell you're applying a scrub. The oils in there are really nice, but it ain't like making your skin feel oily afterwards. I actually really, really like this. I 100% will repurchase this again. I can smell it outside the bottle, y'all. The scent is super, super relaxing. I can definitely tell this is for bedtime. Yeah, I love this. Um, as far as the ish condition goes, in using this and applying it, it goes on really nice. 
it feels great when you're massaging it on it rinses off very well the smell is not overpowering and it definitely gave my skin some softness but as far as them saying this conditioner is perfect for the days when you need an extra layer of nourishment or want to save time on post shower moisturizing I could not save time on post shower moisturizing with this this will just be an extra step in my shower days when I want to do a little bit something extended for myself is it a necessity no um, I don't think it has enough moisturizing power in it it definitely has softening principles but as far as moisturizing I don't think that you definitely gonna you gonna need some lotion yeah speaking of lotion this watch me well okay so yeah you need a little elbow grease to rub it in it take a while for it to absorb into your skin but I will say once it absorbs it absorbs it's moisturizing my skin has a nice shine to it it smells good I wish this was actually a little bit more fragrant than what it is but at the same time I don't mind it in combination with the ish my skin feels good um, the candle is the last thing I will say it does have a nice smell when you open the box it seems like it's gonna be very very strong but when you light it it's a little bit deceiving in the sense that in my bathroom it was enough to kind of fill the room and give it a little bit of a smell but it was just a little bit it's not a strong projection on this candle at all um, I don't think it's large room friendly but if you just want to have something lit while you are having a nice little spa moment in your bathroom it is definitely good for that overall the price point everything that I picked up was between $8.97 and $11.97 at my local Walmart. For the price point, this is amazing. I told y'all in the beginning I was a little scared of it because she went a little far with the scent last time, but it's like they learned their lesson and backtracked a little bit. I actually want a little bit more scent in the body cream because this is the thing that I will put on last before I put on my perfume. But in combination together, this is a very well, very nicely formulated body line. Shout out to Taraji. I'm glad they learned their lesson. Then blow us out the water and burn our nose hairs off with that toxic take me to the king level of perfume. It just smelled like a super dark, super brown perfume that sat on the shelf just marinated and getting syrupy for two years and then they put it in your hair products. I'm glad they learned their lesson and they backtracked. This line is nice. So if y'all have any questions, leave them down below. I love y'all. My daughter. And I'm out this piece. Bye!